It was billed as a discussion called the price of peace or cost of war. But there was only one conflict these panelists were interested in, Ukraine. Ukraine President Vladimir Zelensky had been expected to appear by video link, but in his place was the Prime Minister making this appeal. Make it clear to Kremlin and all those who participate support of promote uh, its aggressive policies that they will have no place to go, no place to hide, no place to trade with. If they do tomorrow or day after tomorrow, your country can get under attack too. The future depends on all of you and all of us. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg was also there, responding to Russian accusations that the military alliance was causing this crisis over Ukraine's wish to join NATO. Every nation has the right to choose own path, including what kind of security arrangements they want to be part of. We respect Ukraine when they want to join, but we also, for us, of course, respect Sweden and Finland when they decide not to join. Russia should respect free and independent decisions by free and independent nations. That's all about it. The Turkish Foreign Ministry says more than 2,000 delegates attended from around 77 countries. Even though the Turkish president made a plea for new ways to tackle problems such as poverty, hunger and environmental disasters, he also spent a large part of his speech on Ukraine. Ukraine and Russia are our neighbours and friends from the Black Sea. We regret that the crisis between our neighbours has turned into a hot conflict. The escalation of tension to this stage disturbs and worries us. We can never be exposed to aggressive acts against the sovereignty of a country that is our neighbour. He followed that with a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg, who welcomed Turkey's efforts to mediate between Moscow and Kiev. Earlier this week, the Turkish government managed to bring together both the Russian and Ukrainian foreign ministers. That's the first time that's happened since the start of the conflict two weeks ago. But there's still no sign of a lasting solution, and more work needs to be done to bring the bloodshed to an end. Andrew Hopkins, TRT World, Antalya.